All right. Good morning, Bates. Welcome back. It's Tuesday, day two of our in-person learning and day two of our remote kiddos K2 with new home rooms. Yes. So let's, get, let's, re, let's refresh ourselves about some of the in-person um, safety protocols with our mask and transitions. Mr. Fonseca, do you want to help us out with that? Absolutely. Since we're coming into the school, we have to make sure as soon as we either get dropped off by our parent or walk up to the school or get off one of the buses, we have to make sure that our mask is on. Again, your mask has got to be on at all times. It's got to be covering both your mouth and your nose. When you come into the building, the first thing you want to do is use one of the hand sanitizing stations. All right, Mo, there are some stations where you just put your hand underneath and they'll give you a squirt of hand sanitizers. Others where you have to push down and get some hand sanitizer and really scrub those hands. So you're making sure to both sanitize and use your mask as you come in. That way you keep not only yourself healthy, but those around you healthy and safe as well. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Yep. So let's make sure we're following those expectations and listening to our teachers. There's a lot of transitions, you know, in, you know, going to recess or going from class to class. So make sure you are following those expectations all day long. Um, we want to be safe, responsible and respectful. Also, you know, our K2 learners who are staying remote in Ms. Fernald, Ms. Bartlett, and Ms. Clamola's class, you know, yesterday was a, could have been a challenging day for you all, right? It was your first day with maybe a new homeroom teacher. That can be, that can be, um, that can be difficult sometimes, right? Meeting someone new and new classes. But uh, you know, I've heard from your teachers, you all did a great job. Um, you can always check in with us if you need a little more help with that transition, but I'm so proud of you all and the K2 who are staying remote, because um, that's hard, right? Mr. Fonseca, building new relationships with new teachers. It absolutely is hard. And even though you might not be in the building where some of the other students are, we still know and recognize you and recognize the work that you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And to recognize that work, we are, you know, we are going to be beginning beacons of the week this week um, in grades K through five, whether you're remote or in person. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Um, and there's a variety of ways, you know, you can be beacon of the week. It doesn't mean that you have to be an A plus student or do all your work, but you know, it's someone who goes above and beyond with our Bates core values, safe, responsible, and respectful, and represents our community um, to the best of their ability. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing those. We're going to do a recognition on Monday will be the first time we invite um, students to zoom in. Um, we might actually record it on Friday, but we'll get more information on that for you all. Um, so that'd be exciting to see some kids here on their morning meeting, right? That's right. So be sure to just be your best self every day and being safe, responsible, and respectful so that your teacher can see that and that you might get a chance to be one of the beacons of the week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and also, um, I want to shout out Andre Erickson. So last yesterday's flag was um, South Korea, correct? Yes. So I got an email oh, from him. Back. You got it correct, huh? Ireland, yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, two, it was two flags ago. So I missed the email, so I apologize to Andre, but shout out to him. He named the South Korean flag. That's awesome. Um, great job. In addition right. to, yeah, in addition to Andre getting that flag correct, we've got a number of students who got yesterday's flag correct, which was the Irish flag or the flag of Ireland. Those students were Joshua Zimmerman, Ryan Martin, Abby Rudzinski, Chim Sinanya, Ayana Pimentel, Fernando Frazan Farias, Jadia Castillo Almeida, Fiona Mashoni, Kelly Sherman, Kelly Hiltonen, Daniel Walinga. Eric Rentas, Cy Beauchamp, and Madison Perpera. Wow, shout out to you guys. Well, I think we might need some hard ones, Mr. Fonseca. I, I mean, know. Everyone, they, you know, everyone's nailing these. So great job you all for researching those flags. Um, I hope you have fun doing it. And so today we do have a flag, so I'm gonna share my screen. And then as I do, Mr. Fonseca can kind of talk a little bit about the flag. Absolutely. So this is the only national flag or our flag of a country in the world where one side of the flag is different from the other side of the flag. And so the colors have special meanings. And um, this is a flag that anyone should really be able to get if you look closely enough at it, because it's kind of a giveaway if you look closely enough at it. So if you haven't done the flag trivia yet and you look super closely at this flag, maybe use a magnifying glass if you need to, you should be able to figure it out. All right, so as Mr. Fonseca basically gives away how to find out what flag that is, um, take a look at it. So it's pretty cool, right? So no matter what side, it's a little bit different. So there's a front side um, and a back side, correct? And the, um, what do you call it? This, um, this insignia 
in the middle is different. So it looks like we have kind of like a wreath on the front side. And is that a lion, Mr. Fonseca, on the back side? That's correct, a lion on the back side. A yeah. lion. And now this uh, flag is located in South America, I believe. That's right. Um, so, you know, another little hint. So we'll look for those answers tomorrow. Again, maybe that's why it's too easy. We're giving too many hints. That's right. Fewer hints tomorrow. Fewer hints tomorrow. That sounds good. Anything else, Mr. Fonseca, um, before we just, start our Tuesday? Just come in, keep that same energy from before, and, yep, let's go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Next week um, is Thanksgiving break, so that, that's a half day on Wednesday. There'll be more information about that. Um, so we really only get about a, you know, a little over a week before we have a little break again. So make sure we're working hard, and then we can play hard, too. All right, Mr. Fonseca, why don't you take it away? All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today. And as always, it's a great day to be great.